Bloomberg Weather with meteorologist David Burgett. And if you're going to be stopping by a telethon today, you will encounter maybe some blowing snow in the forecast on your way there and some frigid temperatures later this afternoon. That's why we have a first alert day in place for today for that blowing snow and those frigid temperatures that we're going to see that will drop below zero and way below zero for our wind chills. But right now around the region, we are seeing temperatures into the 20s for uh, the negative 20s for us in some places, what I should be saying here. So around negative 22 there for the wind chill there and in negative 26 in Mason City temperatures air temperatures at least are into the single digits around the region and we're going to be frigidly cold really heading all into next week and we're seeing such cold wind chills right now because of our wind gusts around the region. We're getting a little bit of a spot here from Awatana towards Preston in terms of the gap in the wind for our wind gusts, but we have wind gusts around 25 miles per hour in Albert Lee, 41 there in Mason City, according to our radar, and then 24 in Winona. So winds will be breezy for this morning. The chance to see some blowing snow if you're going to be traveling on the roads. A lot of cloud, co some cloud coverage on the radar at the moment will be mainly overcast for today. A little bit of some snow here lingering off into I-35 just north of Steele County and Owatonna there. So we are going to have some uh, snow potentially in the forecast for today, but we are going to be seeing a blizzard warning in effect still from the National Weather Service that will expire later tonight at midnight here for our northeastern counties into northeast Iowa. And we are going to have a wind chill warning and advisory for much of our region really heading into next Tuesday. That's set to expire at Tuesday at noon here. And our winter weather advisory for our region will be expiring here today at noon. So if you're wondering about snowfall totals from yesterday and even through this morning potentially, this is our estimated snowfall total. I'll let I'll give you this though. This is not going to be the most accurate snowfall total here because we have a lot of gusty winds and blowing conditions. So anything you see here from two to four really here in Rochester and Olmsted County and Preston and across our region, that's just what the radar has picked up on it. All those gusty winds have blown that snow and in different places. Even in my driveway this morning, I saw snow drifts as high as probably six inches. That I had a shovel this morning, so that's why we're not showing as much snowfall totals right now. So take that with a grain of salt for those snowfall totals from the radar. But we'll have wind gusts throughout the afternoon today into the 20s for us. So those winds are going to be sustained here and be very breezy, bringing our wind chills for today into the upper teens and into the tw lower 20s and even into the lower mid to lower 30s as we get into tomorrow morning. So we're getting our coldest temperatures through the through the region actually this, so far this season starting today. So we'll see blowing snow and gusty winds for today. This afternoon we'll see more frigid wind chills as we get going into the afternoon and evening hours. And next week we're going to be tracking less than zero degree temperatures in wind chills. So tracking this out for you this morning, we all have temperatures into the single digits. As we get going, our temperatures are going to drop into the negative negative single digits across the region. You did notice a few flash of uh, flash of snow there on the radar. That was mainly tracking your long like I-90 into Mauer County and, and into northeast Iowa. So there's a chance we could see some stray snow, light snow in Olmsted County today and across our region. But rebounding back by tomorrow morning at 2 a.m., we are going to be seeing temperatures in below in zero into the single digits. And even here by Sunday morning, we're going to be seeing very frigid temperatures and in, into tomorrow afternoon and evening as well. So the trend for the temperatures will be sticking around into the negative single digits before we peak at nine degrees there for our high temperature over the course of next week on Wednesday. So we are going to be seeing those temperatures stick around here and we're going to be seeing breezy conditions all through the afternoon and a small chance of snow as we get towards the afternoon hours too. And we'll just be Pretty much the same as we go through tomorrow with temperatures into the negative single digits there and some more mostly cloudy skies and those frigid conditions. But we'll see more sunshine through the course of this week. And with our first alert days, we'll keep you updated on what's to come here in terms of those wind chills and those temperatures. I guess we're going to see some sunshine, but only a high of nine. Yes, a high of nine next week. All weeks we're forecasting right now for. It's time to hi head into hibernation. <laughs> just eat a lot and just sleep, right? Yes, and, and bundle up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you.